So hey everybody, it's TR back with another camper renovation project video. This is episode four. And in this episode, we're gonna go over the project list. I'm gonna let you know what I gotta get taken care of here. Kinda give you a quick tour of all the items I need to resolve. But first things first, let's get this thing uncovered. See, I've already taken the front part of this apart to get a sense for how much damage there is up here. And there's quite a bit. Okay, so I'll get you up here nice and close and let you see. These corners here were all rotted out and it was leaking right here. And so it leaked down in here. And when I first pulled this off, this is just full of water. Well, it's pretty rotten. Um, you can see here that it's been holding water sitting on this uh, tin here. This here is still wet. I mean, this is just dripping wet. You can just see, look at all the dirt and stuff in there. It's actually dried out since I got it taken apart. But all this lumber here is rotten. So I'm going to have to take this back. The reason I haven't taken this apart here is this seam here is siliconed right here. So I gotta go ahead and pull this off. So I don't forget, I got a pretty good list here <laughs> of things. There's about 50 things on the list here. I'm gonna have to completely rebuild this. It looks pretty good up here. There may be a little damage in here, but the wood seems fairly sound. This, obviously this wood in here is pretty bad. This is all going to need to be replaced. These two by twos here that hold up this deck are going to need to be replaced. So I'll be cleaning and resealing all the windows. Okay, obviously these, but I'll be removing these, all these windows. And the reason I'm going to remove everything is because I'm going to have to pull the skin off this to see how far back into here I'm going to have to work. I can see that it's rotten into here. So, and it looks rotten here. And so I'm thinking that there's probably some damage in here. You can kind of see up in there, there's some mold right in here. So all this siding has to come off. I gotta get the camper itself supported. I'm gonna get some pallets and stack some pallets in there so I can support the camper because I'm gonna need to lift this. I'm gonna need to lift the stable lift uh, to drop the camper off this lifting system so I can get into this and get these corners loose. So I'm seeing some water damage in this container and I think it's coming from this corner. You can kind of see how it's separated out and it, the siding has actually popped out from underneath the trim piece here. And there's been a bunch of silicone slathered on there. That's not how you fix that. So, and you can see here that the siding is bowed up and then it's caved in right there. And then it bows out and then there's those screws in the surface. So there's a butt of prob <laughs> buttload of problems up there that need to be taken care of. So overall, the fridge actually works. It worked just fine. It ran on both the propane and on electric. So really happy with that. I'm not sure what this little shield is here, uh, but it's something that the old owner must have put in there. Um, he must have been having trouble with it staying cool, but we'll be cleaning this all out really good. We're gonna pull this cover off, reseal all this. Of course, we're gonna pull all the covers off. Here's, here in the battery compartment, we need to do some work. Okay, so this battery compartment I'm going to have to rebuild. And I'm actually going to have to make it a little bit bigger than it is right now. Because I've got two 100 amp GC2 Battleborn batteries coming. They're GC2s, but they're... Essentially what they are is they're the 6 volt configuration. But they're a 12 volt battery, 100 amp hour, just like the normal Battleborns. But the reason I bought them is because instead of being long and wide, they're narrow and a little bit tall. By making some very minor modifications to the battery cabinet here, <clears throat> I'm going to have to reframe this, make the make this uh, port a little bigger. I'll have to rewire all this, get all this out and clean it up. And I'm going to have to make this door a little bit bigger. But yeah, we'll be uh, modifying that battery compartment to take two of the Battleborn lithium batteries. There's a closet right behind here, so I'm not too worried about having the space. I don't think there's anything right here that I need to be concerned about. And I'm only going to have to widen it out by about six inches. If that. It's not even actually six inches. But 
anyway we'll be completely rebuilding the jack system cleaning it all up getting it working better it actually works pretty good now but i'm going to clean it up paint it scrub off all that rust and get rid of all that i'm just looking over my list here so i'm going to investigate these screws here i'm not sure what's going on i'm thinking that maybe this was coming loose and they just screwed it here i'm hoping these screws are sealed if they're not they will be but i'm going to remove these and we're going to have to investigate this they're going to have to come out anyway because i'm going to have to remove this siding from the top down basically because i got to get up into this corner and do some work so on the roof we're going to clean all the roof penetrations and reseal them all i got to think the roof might have to come off uh, i'm keeping my fingers crossed that it doesn't but we may have to pop the roof off um, just to do an inspection and see what's going on up there minimum we're going to pull the if you look right up here on the edge there's a drip cap that comes around and it's all sealed but it needs to be pulled off and resealed plus if you look right up there there's a scratch in the aluminum just ahead of that uh, tarp link hanging there and so we'll probably be doing something with cleaning that piece of uh, siding up this window needs to be cleaned and resealed and in fact you can see here the seals kind of failing uh, I've done some research and I believe I found new seals so that I can just uh, replace those seals. I don't have to replace the windows if I don't have to. This compartment door of course will come out to be resealed. All these lights will come off and be resealed. This window will be pulled out and resealed. So hopefully I don't have to remove the skin at the back here. I don't think I will. I already know there are some issues up here that will need to be taken care of. You can kind of see where that trim strip is popping loose. If you look real close up there you can kind of see a screw coming loose. This corner will get removed and resealed. This rubber screw hider bumper gasket, would you call it, uh, will get removed and replaced. Those doors will be removed and resealed. The water heater, as we mentioned earlier, is going to be replaced. What do I do with those damn keys? I bet you I left them hanging in that door. <laughs> so this latch here is a little sketchy it's a little shaky i might have to do something with it but there's a gasket around this door that needs to be replaced okay so i'm going to see if i can find this gasket here i might replace this latch system obviously it needs to be cleaned this window and this window will be removed and resealed the door the whole door frame and everything will be removed this will all be resealed. And then, as far as inside goes, there's not a whole lot to be done. So, let's go inside. Alright, so, <coughs> inside here, this deck is going to have to be replaced. As you can see here, the corners are rotted out there. And over there it's rotted out too. You just can't see it because there's that little compartment built in there. It looks okay up here. I don't see any problems. But what I'm concerned about, let's see if I can keep the crashing through here, is that it was a little crunchy. This isn't bad. But a couple of corners were pretty crunchy up here. So I might have to do something with those. Of course, this vent will be removed and replaced. Or removed and it's resealed. Really inside, there's not a whole lot that really needs to be done, to be honest with you. You know, everything's in fairly good shape. I might paint the walls just to freshen them up. So I kind of think it's goofy to have a four burner stove. And then, you know, you get a nice oven. It's your typical. The thing about this is though this is a Wedgwood stove. And Wedgwood's known for doing really good quality equipment. So I'm kind of on the fence about whether I... <clears throat> replace this or what I do with it but uh, that will be determined here in the near future uh, this microwave is actually pretty small I'm thinking about replacing it and this cover over here I've looked in here and I've got space clear in this cover to clear over here to this wall and clear over into here you can kind of see you know how it's it's partitioned off you can see how it's partitioned off right here okay so anyway i don't think anything up there is uh needs to be taken care of you know the sink is in fine shape i'll probably i'll probably go ahead and replace 
the uh, faucet here. At minimum, I will go through and clean these, uh, or replace these uh, washer packs in here. But I think I'm going to replace this with a little bit more modern faucet. Under here, there's this uh, plumbing thing here going on. Something's busted or it's leaking. I'll be <clears throat> cleaning all that up. Nothing back there really to speak of that I'm too concerned about. I'll be going through and sorting out all the electrical because I've got a lot of electrical work to do because I'll be putting an inverter in. There is not an inverter in it now. So the battery compartment, I know this is, it's dark. I'll come back, I'll get back here a little bit so you can see. But this is just the compartment. That battery compartment is right there. So the battery compartment sits right here. And uh, so it won't be a big deal to, uh, you know, have to expand it a little bit. And then probably what I'll end up doing is I'll put my solar charge controller, the inverter, and everything else right here. Then all I'll have to do is run 110 power from here over to the breaker panel here, and we'll be in good shape. <clears throat> so it should be pretty easy to do. Uh, really easy access, you know, we'll come through here underneath this. We'll go into this compartment here where the water pump and everything is. I already know the water pump supply line is kinked, so we'll be working on that. I'm going to sanitize the fresh water tank. Lord knows how long it's been since it was sanitized. And take care of the fresh water system. I'll be flushing out all the lines come spring. Because everything's uh, winterized right now. I don't want to change that. Go to my cheat, the cheat, the cheat sheet here. So in the kitchen here, we're going to be fixing this pan. Remember, the, the slides on it are pretty sketchy, so we'll be repairing those slides. That's The furnace does not fire. So here's the furnace here. So I know the furnace doesn't fire. Um, I have an overhaul kit for it that I've gotten already. So I was able to get all the parts of this Atwood heater that I want to rebuild it with you know, orifices and relays and those sorts of things. So we'll be going through this furnace and rebuilding it, getting it working again. So I will be replacing the blinds. So they're kind of old and tired. I'll be taking care of those blinds and replacing those. Not too many of those. That won't be very expensive. Uh, probably just leave that curtain there for that. Replace that blind. The other stuff here in the kitchen that I want to take care of is I'll look into replacing the oven and the stove, but you know this one it works just fine so uh you know if we if we get to where we're spending too much money then we'll probably wait to replace this at some other point i don't want to put a lot of money into it if i can avoid it the stuff to take care of in the bathroom i'll be looking into that ceiling uh it looks like it's been replaced that looks like uh oriented strand board right here so i'm thinking i'm wondering if it's failed at some point but in here, there's no light. That's going to get done, taken care of. There'll be a light put in here. The, sh the shower head here will be replaced with my favorite Oxygenics. We're going to replace the shower curtain. This isn't much of a shower curtain, so <coughs> we'll be replacing that. And then we're going to replace this vent with a power vent. So I can create, you know, some move some air through here uh, and help keep it cool. I will be getting a new mattress. <clears throat> the mattress that was in there was pretty old and tired. Plus, it was all moldy from the leak up there at the front. So, I'll be replacing that. These two lights you see here. And then this light. That light will all be replaced with LEDs. I'll be doing a light. This is an undercounter here. I'll be replacing that with LEDs. And then I'm going to be mounting a TV, probably somewhere right in here somewhere, maybe on the back side of this cabinet here, uh, with a, on a swing arm, so I can swing it out, watch it from here, or you know maybe lay in bed and watch it too. But anyway, there'll be a TV on a swing arm there. So I'm looking into getting some propane level indicators to put a couple of level indicators on the propane tanks up here. I think that'll be handy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the covers on the you know the cushions on the couch. They're in okay shape. I mean they're not perfect but they're okay and so I might not have to replace those again trying to save money I don't want to put you know ten thousand dollars into this thing it wouldn't be worth it yeah I got a lot of work ahead of me but I'm not intimidated at all in fact I'm kind of excited to be doing it I've got the skills to do the work I'm not too concerned about that 
if the weather cooperates like it is now, here it is just the day after Thanksgiving. And, you know, we got a nice 50 degree day, so I can come out here and work a little bit. And I'll continue to do that as long as the weather cooperates. But when it gets cold and nasty, I'll probably just cover things up and wait for spring to come. So I'm really excited about this truck camper renovation, getting excited to get started on it and getting equally excited to get down the road in it and go camping in it. But we're about three or four months out on that, maybe five. I'm hoping that we'll be done by April. That's about five months from now. That should work out just about right. So if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. Always appreciate those. If you're not subscribed, be sure and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. There should be a new video coming out every Sunday on the truck camper renovation, but it might be mixed up a little bit because I'm also doing some renovations on my Class A RV that I used to own for the new owner. He'll be coming to pick it up in May, and I've got a list of things to do on it, replacing floors and doing some stuff like that. So there'll be some of those videos mixed in with these videos, but hopefully every Sunday night from now until April, or maybe even later, you'll get to see another video on the camper renovation. So if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by visiting my Amazon store, linked in the description below. So I have a special store set up just for the truck camper renovation. So you can go and you can see all the parts and pieces that I'm getting through Amazon that I'll be using in the truck camper renovation. Another vendor I'll be using for parts is RecPro. RecPro I've used for a lot of years. I got the roof for my Class A from RecPro. I bought, I bought all kinds of stuff from RecPro. I don't need to list it all off. But every bit of it has been top quality, first quality, the best stuff you can get. And they're really Johnny on the spot. They get stuff out the door really fast, and so I'm really happy to be affiliated with them. If you'd like to order from Rec Pro, I put a link in the description below to their website. And there's a special code, TRBOLAN. I think you can remember that one, TRBOLAN. Uh, at checkout, that will give you 5% off. Next time, you're going to get to see us taking apart the front. We're, start, we're going to dig in a little deeper, figure out how much stuff we need to prepare. We're going to get the siding off both sides to see where we're at there. We'll probably pop the roof off just to see what the, the roof sheathing looks like. I'm hoping it's good. It, it feels fine up there, but we'll know here real soon. So that'll have to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Until we get together the next time, peace.